This episode is all about giving yourself super strength using mechanical advantage. Well, here's how you can use a rope to give yourself the strength of a superhero! Ha-ha! I am Mechanical Advantage using a rope man! Mechanical advantage using a rope, you need three things. First thing, a rope. I mean, obviously, that, that's a given, right? You, you know you need a rope. Okay, good. Then you need something to pull and something that will not move. What you do is you tie your rope to the thing that you want to pull. Then you tie the other end of the rope, you guessed it, to the thing that won't move. Now, you pull from the middle like this. And it's very easy to pull the weight. Why? Because of mechanical advantage. You're using a small amount of force over a longer distance. But what if the weight is heavier? Then you lengthen the rope. Now we pull from the middle and it's easier. Why? Yes, mechanical advantage. A small amount of force over an even longer distance makes it easier to pull the weight. Let's max it out. Mechanical advantage using a rub man, away! High above the city, mechanical advantage using a rub man surveys the town looking for someone in trouble. There's someone. Oh, my minivan broke down and only 10 feet from my parking spot. If only there was someone who could help me. I'll help you. Mechanical advantage using a rope, man. I'm saved. Maybe you should try giving yourself some mechanical advantage using the rope. Mechanical advantage using a rope, man. Yes. Well, I was coming to that. So I have this really long rope, and I tie one end to something that's not going to move, like a tree. Or a steel coil, if you happen to have one. And then I take the other end, and I run all the way back, and I attach this end to the van. I call her Bessie. Then I go to the middle of the rope, and I pull on it sideways like this giving myself a huge amount of mechanical advantage. Oh, it's working! It's working! Pulling, pulling. <laughs> mechanical advantage using a rope, man, you're doing it! <laughs> well, gee willikers, you did it, mechanical advantage using a rope, man, you pulled the whole van. And that's how you can use a rope to give yourself super strength. I am Mechanical Advantage using a rope man. Max Historica. This is Archimedes. What? Who said that? Uh, it's me, the narrator. We're doing a segment. Oh, well, I was working. Don't sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, <clears throat> this is Archimedes, an ancient inventor and one of the greatest scientific minds ever. <laughs> one of his famous inventions was the Archimedes screw. Ooh, um, um, mm. ah. <laughs> which was used to make holes in wood. No, that's not what it's for. It's, it's for water. Uh, right. Used to make holes in water. What, what, what? No! Look, did you even do your homework? I, um, hold on. It's, uh, yeah. it's here, it's here somewhere. Uh, um, look, I'll just show you. You see, in ancient times, we had many uses for something that could lift water up from a well or to take lake water uh, from uh, the lake and put it into a farmer's field and that sort of thing. Ah, okay, I've got it from here. So, Archimedes invented a screw and he drilled a hole in the side of that container. No, no, no. Uh, look, just just sit down uh, and I'll, I'll explain it, okay? I am sitting, I'm in a voiceover booth. Good for you, now be quiet, now look. What you do is you put the screw in the water like this, and then you want to raise the water higher, you see? And so turn it around like so, and the water fills each gap in the screw, and it starts to come up. It gets to the top, and look at this. Look, we've got water coming at the top there, 
The water is being pumped up. It is the first water pump. I see. Still seems like a lot of work to fill a glass, but it's very cute. No, we made them bigger. We obviously were not going to make them this big. This is not very useful. Uh, right. Archimedes, one of the greatest scientific minds ever. <laughs> One of the ways you can experience the power of water is watching it wash away dirt. You can experiment with this yourself by making your own erosion table. To make your own, fill a plastic tub with sand and tilt it up. Cut a hole in the tub at the low end and put a hose with a trickle of water at the high end. Then to complete your model, fill it with a little happy town. This small model shows how rivers cut their course to the ocean by following the lowest point. Try to design your town and the layout of the ground so the river goes around the buildings. I'll see you later. I'm gonna take a swim in the river now. There are lots of ways to experiment. Change the amount of water or the steepness of the angle. Look at the soil, it's all getting eroded over here. Or the way the town is laid out. Every time you do it, the river goes in a different direction. And have fun. Oh, phew, I'm, I'm tired, I'm just gonna lie down. And that is the power of water. <laughs> Now it's time for one of my favorite scientific terms, the Magnus Effect. I am Magnus, and behold my effect. No, the Magnus Effect has to do with things that are spinning, things like these cups. And here's a great little Magnus Effect flyer you can make at home. It's super easy. Get two styrofoam cups and tape them together at the bottoms using science tape. Then get some elastic bands and make a long one by tying them together. Take your elastic and you wrap it around the cup like this. Then hold the elastic on the bottom, remember, like that. And then let them go. They fly up and out. The reason why it goes up and stays in the air is because it's spinning, creating moving air over the top. Moving air has lower pressure, which means it's pushed up by the higher pressure underneath. And that is called the... It's coming. It's just... Oh, come on. Oh. Now, um, mm, the Magnus Effect. Yes. So, let's max it out. Magnus it out. See how much better that sounds? No, 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 max. Max it out. Check it out. Magnus Flyer 2.0 Stand Elastic Slingshot. Wrap it around. <laughs> Remember, for the Magnus Effect to work, your cups need to be spinning this way. The front side rotating up. Oh, and there you have it. The Magnus Effect. Hi! Magnus am out taking over the show. It is now Science Magnus. That is my effect. Slightly improving the name of science TV shows. Science Magnus! Max Historica. This is Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest scientific minds the world has ever seen. And this is a wheel. Da Vinci thought to himself, wouldn't it be great to design a wheel that kept spinning forever? So he got to work. Something to keep spinning forever without stopping is called a perpetual motion machine. And it was an obsession of Da Vinci's. Why, this is great. The bottles tip the water to the outside, making one side of the wheel heavier, which will keep it spinning forever. <laughs> Except it doesn't work. You see, what Da Vinci doesn't know is that science says a perpetual motion machine is impossible. But of course it wasn't for another 350 years till scientists figured that out. So we can't tell Da Vinci. Uh, what? Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, Leonardo Da Vinci, one of the greatest inventors ever. Even if not all of his inventions worked. <laughs> Over to you. It's quite 
difficult to do with gloves on. 